Greek wine is known under the name the wine of the Bulgarian kings because it was not only the popular wine of Winston, Ch uh, the favorite wine of Winston Churchill, but it was the wine that was presented by Bulgarian royal families to all their friends and relatives in Europe. That's how it became popular in Europe. I strongly recommend you to taste this wine. It's 14.5 alcoholic degrees, red, dry wine also, with very interesting bouquet of flavors depending on its technology of production. If it's aged under the so-called modern technology, which means two or maximum three months in oak barrels, and then bottled, and uh, let the quiet fermentation and processing of the <coughs> sugar residues continue in glass, glass containers or glass bottles, then it puts more emphasis on the fruit flavor of this wine, or if it's aged under the classical technology, 9 to 12 months in oak barrels, then it puts more emphasis on its vanilla taste, and in the aftertaste you can feel the fruits. I recommend you to taste these two kinds of wine, Melnik and Mamrut, and compare them with the traditional, um, traditional wine brands known all over the world as Cabernet Sauvignon, for example. In Bulgaria, we also, by tradition, grow and produce French sorts, like Muscat Autunel, like Unibla, like uh, Chardonnay from the white wines, and very popular in Bulgaria is the German, are the two German sorts, Traminer and Riesling. They're grown here as well. Bulgaria is very favorable in conditions, in atmosphere conditions, and mineral content of the soils for wine growing and wine production. That is why the modern um, European funds provided through the support program um, have over 30% of it designed for supporting the development of wine cellars and renewal of the vineyards of Bulgaria.